Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to my demo day presentation on conversational AI insights. Uh, my name is Winta, and I'm a project management intern at Vector, uh, working on applied AI projects. I've had the pleasure of working on the conversational AI project in particular, alongside the PM team and also AI engineering. So without further ado, I'd like to go over the agenda for the next 10 minutes. First, I will present the project overview outcomes and benefits. Then I'll talk a little bit about our participating sponsors use cases and topics of interest. Uh, afterwards, I will move on to some industry applications for conversational AI, and I'll wrap up with a few of my main takeaways from the project, followed by a Q&A at the end. The objective of the project was to explore and use the latest advances in natural language processing, uh, language understanding, and automated speech recognition, build tools and technologies to improve task-oriented conversations and customer service experience. Our focus was on application areas. Um, automated, automated speech recognition, or ASR, is around developing an ASR-based modular system uh, by leveraging transfer learning, fine-tuning, and domain adaptation of speech models. Uh, natural, and also the Neural Agent Assistant, or NAA, is around building tools that can assist and augment human agent interactions by processing domain uh, and task specific conversation context. Um, here are just a few of our highlights from the project and I'll go over a few of them. Um, our AI engineering team provided reference implementations and technical facilitation. We also had three graduate researchers that served as subject matter experts and helped us deliver hands-on tutorials, um, as well as our vector technical facilitators who assisted in the development of um, the team's proof of concepts and helped troubleshoot any implementation issues. Uh, lastly, we had ve vector researchers and faculty members who delivered excellent presentations on the latest trends in conversational AI. Here are some quick stats conversational AI project. Uh, we had 29 active project partic participants resulting in seven teams formed, um, nine different sponsors and partners also participated and six proof of concepts were developed as part of this project. Shown here are all the participating sponsors and partners for the conversational AI project, um, mainly Bell, CIBC, KPMG, Thomson Reuters, Ontario Public Service, PwC, Scotiabank, Sun Life and TELUS. And it's been an absolute pleasure working with these teams of dedicated professionals. Next, I'll briefly go over ASR and NAA components, which were the two major application areas. Starting with ASR, um, the AI engineering team provided reference implementation that used speech brain based modular system and Streamlit, which is an open source framework. Uh, the conversational AI ASR pipeline typically begins with a data set containing transcripts of client queries. Um, and the software is then able to compare the queries to relevant entries in the main database and then propose an appropriate response to the neural agent. Next, we have NAA, where AI engineering demonstrated how the neural agent assistant framework outlined here was adapted to our industry partners use cases and settings with ongoing refinements for industry deployment. Once the intent is classified, general information can be retrieved from the knowledge base and a response is generated to aid an agent in real time. Here's a list of the benefits of the participants uh, hopefully expanded their skill sets by, the, by being part of this project. Um, some benefits that I'd like to highlight include um, participants being able to learn and understand the latest techniques by working with our researchers and AI engineering experts. Um, the teams also got to work with industry relevant use cases um, and access has prepared um, AI engineering demos, data sets, and codes, and hopefully with their proof of concepts and implementations, um, participants will have enhanced their organization's capabilities. Um, lastly, many teams were able to implement their POC on a cloud development, sorry, on a cloud platform, uh, mainly Google's uh, TPUs. Here's a summary of participants' various use cases and their objectives. Um, I'll go over a few just in the interest of time. Uh, CIBC, KPMG, and PwC are some of the teams that have worked closely with our AI engineering team to submit abstracts um, pending approval for the upcoming 2022 Conference on Empirical Methods in Natural Language Processing 
or EMNLP for short. KPMG's use case is a query answering tool to assist the review of legal documents where the objective was to create a combined ASR and NAA pipeline, um, transcription, passive retrieval, and answer generation uh, to create a virtual, a virtual agent that assists business analysts to effectively analyze technology review reports and extract key information. PwC's use case is an ASR and NAA pipeline for financial service automation, where the objective is to create an end-to-end -end ASR and NAA pipeline that handles uh, both text and speech queries as input to understand and answer customer queries regarding bank account opening and mortgage applications. And lastly, but certainly CIBC's use case is a conversational agent assistant tool uh, where the objective is to firstly build the tool to quickly retrieve relevant information or FAQ on, uh, or FAQs based on clients' questions. Secondly, another goal was to develop an end-to-end -end conversational bot that answers the finance domain questions at a relative accuracy. Next is a list of a few industry applications uh, which were identified by our participating sponsors, uh, namely enhancing the intent recognition in fuzzy logic for large knowledge bases, not knowledge based searches to improve results and reduce call center escalation, uh, which can look like leveraging uh, large language models for conversational AI, um, as well as email intent classification for raising a ticket, uh, forwarding it to the proper mailbox automatically, as well as automatic replies uh, based on intent. Another industry application is creating the ability to upload a set of documents to a cloud host environment and integrating it with other tools or systems uh, from which the documents can, can be processed and queries can be made uh, regarding the document text-based uh, contents. And a few um, additional considerations which are not listed here um, include query caching, ASR service, uh, with regards to speech and to text, as well as a uh, response generation service. As the conversational project uh, was wrapping up, we designed and di distributed a post-project survey uh, for participants to complete shortly after showcase day, which was held on August 17th. Um, something that I've come to realize, and I hope uh, participants uh, will too, is that feedback is extremely valuable and partly because it allows us to make continuous improvements uh, to our applied AI projects. This brings me to the final presentation, uh, key takeaways. Um, my original plan to capture the main takeaways was to review the results of the exit survey, um, but considering we re recently completed the project, uh, I think it's too soon to do so. Um, so in order to identify these takeaways, I did some reflection and also I spoke to uh, other vector members on the project. So many thanks go to Alif, who is a fellow AI engineering intern, and Umar, who is an associate PM and my Applied AI Buddy program partner. Uh, the takeaways fall into six topics, mainly goal setting, um, finding relevant data, uh, tailoring it to the specific needs of each use case, um, troubleshooting the models, and forward-facing topics like uh, scaling the proof of concepts, as well as overall usability of these learnings. For setting realistic goals, Teams created and often uh, referred to their team plan, uh, their team plan deck uh, that outlined at a high level their project goals. However, and I found this as the project progressed, um, especially during the middle of the execution phase, teams quickly realized that they needed to pivot or perhaps narrow the scope of their proof of concepts. So one example is uh, focusing on a smaller subset of intent or intent classification. Next is finding an appropriate and uh, seeing if changes um, need to be made so that it can be applied to the use case. Uh, this typically requires teams uh, going through their reference implementations and from there finding appropriate data sets. Um, for example, if a data set is unbalanced, uh, teams can consider using different weights for each category and also perhaps um, finding more relevant calls, which was in a specific use case. And one way to do this is to manually increase the size of the data set uh, to balance the distribution. Another key takeaway is also tailoring reference implementation to the use case. This can look like improving the quality of um, transcriptions as a pre-processing step before developing the downstream tasks. And depending on the complex complexity of this approach, 
um, the performance could also be significantly improved. Next, we have troubleshooting. And one takeaway from a technical standpoint was understanding the functions of various pipeline components and using that knowledge to help participants with tasks like uh, tuning their uh, GPT models, as well as debugging different errors related to memory, data sets, and checkpoints uh, whenever participants encounter them. Um, for scalability, teams can look into combining the two reference implementations of ASR and AA, as well as translating models into French for further training. And one of the teams noted that the French model's performance can be lower than English, um, especially when we consider the higher word error rate of the French language um, transcribed by current speech to text models. For improved scale, for improved usability, sorry, uh, rather, an, un, an unsupervised ASR approach can be used, as well as Libri speech datasets, which is essentially a read speech collection of several uh, hours of audiobooks. So that's a summary of my main takeaways, which nicely wraps up the presentation part of my talk. And I'll now open up the floor for any questions. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Perfect, okay. Um, question I have is related to the feedback survey that you sent out to um, the team, the partners um, that worked on this project. So the feedback that you received, was it sort of along the lines of what you expected to receive or were there any surprises in there? And were there meaningful differences between what different project participants, uh, what feedback they gave? Yeah, so we recently, thank you for your question, firstly. Um, we recently sent the survey out um, last week, so we don't have enough uh, responses to make that conclusion. But uh, one of the questions was a list of um, topics that we may consider for perhaps a round two, or um, maybe some topics teams can take back to their respective organizations. I can keep you posted once we get those results. All right, that makes a lot of sense. Um, anybody else? Maybe, maybe. Thank you. Thank you, Winter, for, for the presentation. I guess the question I had was um, you listed a number of different organizations participating in projects, different sectors, different organizational cultures. So did you find, uh, I guess, any particular challenges that came through? Like you talked about some of their successes and takeaways, but challenges you had to navigate or the, you know, the team had to navigate when dealing with such different cultures and, you know, sectors and goals? Yeah, thank you for your question. It's a great question. Um, absolutely. I think uh, one of the main uh, concerns was time commitment. Um, a lot of the teams, well, we had one team that was actually three teams put into one from three different organizations. And uh, it was kind of hard to uh, find a time that works for everyone to work collaboratively. Um, and another one is also the varying levels of um, knowledge base or backgrounds in, in not only in AI, but specifically for some of the topics that we covered in, in this project. So I think moving forward, um, if there was a way to assess I guess, everyone's readiness coming into a project, and uh, I didn't present it here, but I am also working on a a preparation tool for conversational AI, but it could also be used for any project really at Vector that can uh, assess the future participants readiness before they uh, they join. I think that would also be very helpful. 